Yo, I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame. So it might be nice to own a jet plane, I'ma do it off for you. What's up out there, YouTube world? This is No Love Gaming back with another tutorial. This is a how to video on how to make an intro using DaVinci Resolve 14. I've already started a little bit here. You haven't missed much. What I'm doing here is a top 10. I've already gone here to file and I've imported media. The media that I imported was uh, the, race, the recent Jason kills that I've done. I'm going to finish editing this thing. I'm going to be cutting some things so you won't see it all. So right here, I'm making everything this short because this is, the intro is going to be really short. It's not going to be very long at all. So I'm going to grab this tool right here, a little cutting tool, the razor, and I'm going to click right here where this red line is on the timeline. I'm gonna click right there, then I'm gonna take my arrow tool, I'm gonna come back and select the other end, and I'm just gonna hit the delete button to delete the extra stuff. Then I'm gonna go back and save because you need to keep saving because this tends to crash for me anyway. So you wanna keep saving. I'm gonna go back in the media pool I'm gonna click on the next one that's gonna be brung in here. So I'm gonna click on it, I'm gonna hold it, and I'm gonna drag it into the timeline. And from here, I'm gonna look for the Jason kills. We had five Jason kills in this stream, so I'm gonna look for those and cut out the actual killing part. Right about here. So right there, I'm gonna grab my razor tool again. So I'm going to click on this side of the bar so you can delete, delete everything that was before it. So I'll select that and delete. I'll select that and delete. And then I'm going to hit this rewind button to go back to the beginning of the scene for this clip, the beginning of this clip. Now I'm going to drag this back here. Now it's at the beginning of the timeline, but you see it's up. See, I have have these different slots I can put the videos in. So again, I can cut it off at the same part as everything else. Boom. So now that's cut off. Now I'll save again. And I'll find the next Jason kill in the stream. I have room for one more. Then, after I'm done with this, I'm going to save. So I found the next Jason kill. Let's click right there. Once again, hit the arrow tool, grab the beginning part, and delete. And hit this rewind button. Hit it twice. Now we're going to click this, drag it up, and bring it over. Then we're going to click on the front part and delete the rest off. Because now we've, we've run out of space. And now for the audio, for all these Jason kills, I'm going to turn that into zero. So click on the audio part there. So you turn that to audio, go to the volume, turn that all the way down to negative basically. Go to the next one, do the same thing. Now let's go to the video and we're going to resize the video right here where it says Zoom X, you're just gonna click in that spot where you see double arrows and you're going to drag, you're going to basically move your mouse to the left. Then we're gonna work on a position. Right now I'll move this all the way to the right using position X and then using position Y. I'm gonna move it all the way up to the top. We got 10 videos, so we gotta have uh, gonna have to try to find a way to maybe have three going across the top and four going down the sides. Yeah, yeah. So that's the plan. All right, I'm gonna do the rest of this, and then you'll see the placement. 
All right, so that's the setup that I have for the videos. You can see them. Got four going down this way. There's gonna be three going across, so one, two, three, and then four back up, and then three across. All right, so we shrunk my picture down quite a bit. So now you can see the background a little bit more. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crop a little bit too. I'm gonna hit this button to deliver. I'm gonna press on YouTube 720. Hit browse, make sure it goes in the correct folder. Hit OK. Add to render. And then I'm gonna start render. Alright, so here we go. We've opened DaVinci Resolve back up. I'm gonna click on new video. Showed you how to do this before, but I'll do it again. We're gonna name that intro to just have a different name. So then the program comes up, you go up to file, import media. Alright, so you put it on there, it's gonna ask you this question, you're just gonna hit change. Then I'm going back to import media. Alright, so let's take this. We clicked and dragged the first intro we worked on into the middle. So it's on the timeline. I will scroll up. All right, so here we go. We got the next five Jason kills on here. And we're turning down the volume on all of them. So that is set. Now I'm just gonna do the placement of them. Also, with the setup complete the way I want, let's import some more media. All right, so I'm gonna cut the beginning off for this music and start where the music actually is. Delete that. Slide that on in. Go right there. Cut off the unnecessary part and delete that. I'm gonna turn the volume down, not all the way down this time, but to right around just right around there so you can hear it in the background but not really there we go I have the audio the way I wanted we save again okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use Panazoid for this next part of the intro or you can just use this for a regular intro all by itself all right I'm gonna leave a link uh, to Panazoid in the description below so once you pull that up just follow these steps so you follow that link and then you have categories here that you can choose from. You can look at what's trending. You can go to latest, to top, to following. Go to all categories, whatever you're looking for. Anyway, just look for whatever you think might be a cool looking intro for you based on the thumbnails here. All right? You have an option to check them out to see what they really look like before you even start creating. All right, we're already at 10 seconds and we're at that. I'm going to click on this just to see what it looks like. Yeah, that's kind of basic. We'll go with that. Oh, this is very simple, this one here. Alright, so let's click on right there under group where it says text. we got three different texts. We're going to click on the first one. And down here under 3D text, we're going to click in there, delete that, and put whatever your channel is or whatever you want this to say. And then you hit enter, and then it's changed. But you have to do that with all three of these. Click on this. So now I've changed all of them, and you can see it's kind of changed there. So let's go ahead and hit this again. All right, so obviously that's just a little bit too big. So now we have to work on, let's see, go back to the text again. Scroll down to the height. And we're gonna make that 20 instead for me because uh, I have a longer name in there. Hit enter, 
And again, you got to do that with all three. Now let's click on this thing. So we'll go with that. All right, cool. Next thing you do, once you're done with it, go ahead and hit this download button right there. Hit start render. Okay, rendering is done. So then you go to download your video. And it's actually already done now. I pulled this program back up, DaVinci Resolve. And we're gonna import, right? So that's the first intro I was working on now for the text intro. Now first, we're gonna put on this one. Boom. Then we're gonna put this one on. I'm gonna take the audio off and I'm gonna replace it with some audio of my choosing. Save that. And that's all I have to show you guys for today.